Hi guys, this is Nana Pamania and I'm going to show you how I made my DIY brine shrimp in tank feeder. You can see I purchased a mandarin fish. So before I purchased it, I made sure I get something that can easily feed it. You guys know that I had added a Tom's hatch and feeder, but as you guys know that mandarins, they don't generally eat from water columns. So I had to build something like this. It's basically an inspiration from Paul B from Reef to Reef. So here's what you need. You need this bottle that's 750 ml, uh, this rigid airline tubing, this cap which I got it online from eBay. You'll need this airline tubing, obviously an air valve. This is for cutting airline tubing. Uh, the rigid one you need this plastic cup a sieve it should be brand new not used a scissor and this heat rod like soldering heat rod this should be the size of uh, your tubing it's 6 mm so you need to bend this airline tubing for a like at 90 degrees and you can see I burnt it once but on the second time I managed it. You can use a heat gun or you can use a boil, some boiling water or gas stove or something. It's pretty easy and I'm sure you make it. So here's how it looks. Just basic 90 degrees. Here's the cup and you need to make this hole which is a little bit less than 6 mm so that you can fit the pipe in without using any glue or any adhesive and that's the cap. So you need to use uh, the heat rod to cut this cap like make an exact hole like the round hole and this is how it should look. and cut the sieve, remove the net so here's how the cup should look after attaching the sieve I have not used any glue or anything I have just placed the sieve and closed the lid it's pretty solid though so here's how it should look once everything is attached now I'll show you guys how I made my brine ship hatchery you need this half bottle cut with a big hole I'll show you why this bottle and this is how you should attach that's the rigid airline tubing and the valve Once everything is attached, this is how it should look. Here's the use of the hole. Basically you need to invert the entire bottle upside down. That's only while removing brine shrimps. And you need some sort of container. I'm using this 50 ml beaker which I had. So I'm going to use this for removing my live branches. Here's the setup. This prevents a lot of salt creep. And the air goes out through the valve and it's coming through this. You need to att attach another valve so that you can control the air bubbles. And the light is just placed next to it. So once the brine shrimps are hatched, after around 12 hours, you need to invert the bottle. Remove this airline valve from the hole. And just collect the live brine shrimps. Now 
you can see these tiny moving grind shims all alive make sure that you make two batches so that every 12 hours you need to feed because within 12 hours the yolks uh, will be consumed and if the yolk once the yolk is consumed they don't have any proteins or anything that the fish needs now i'm sorry that while recording my battery went off but where you saw that i've attached a cup on it uh, that cup i uh, used to directly pour the brine shims the newly hatched brine shim in it and you can see my mandarin now feeding on it another issue was that i had to remove the sieve net and use this uh, media bag net because the brine shim would just come out of it within a few seconds and so you need to make sure the whatever net you are using it's pretty tiny and so that the shims they don't come out immediately and they come out slowly and so that the mandarin can or pipe fish or whatever you are keeping can eat easily from it so that's it guys i hope you guys liked this video if you have any questions please do comment i'll make sure that i answer each and every of the questions asked Uh, on this video i hope you guys like this video thank you thanks for watching